On a church, there is an owl, and the people touch it for good luck. But that somehow that uh, that's why this owl became the symbol from that owl on that church. So that is a mustard jar. How old is that bottle? Uh, this is probably turn of the century, early 1900s. Yeah. All right, uh, we've got marbles. Usually you find one or two clay marbles. This one privy, we've filled up five mason jars. They weren't in the jars, they were just loose as we were going through them. When I dig with the scouts or with the students, we have sifters and we sift. Uh, the Boy Scouts now have an archaeology marriage. So in that case, we did the hotel on uh, Chicago and Ohio. It was um, it had like a White House. I, I forgot what it's called. But anyways, there's a two cent piece. There's a token for a bar. Clay pipe stems. There's a, like a lice comb in there. Marbles. Uh, all that. Um, normally, you don't find whole jugs, but we did find one. We got lucky. This is called salt glaze stoneware. So when they put it in the kiln, they threw salt into the into the furnace, and that gives it the nice shine. Um, so, I mean, this rust is is from iron in the ground, but sometimes you'll see marks which are kiln burns where it could have dripped or if you had another uh, jug right next to it, it would leave a mark. Uh, that one's uh, Burlington, Vermont. Normally what we're finding mostly would be Lyons, New York. That's a very big pottery or Fisher, which is also from Lyons. This is Buffalo, Braun. Uh, G.W. George Braun. This is uh, Buffalo. Or this one is Burger out of Rochester. So normally, <laughs> this is what we get. Um, we did get one piece that had a robin on it. And um, Doll heads. So one time uh, they were digging the new <coughs> hockey arena, uh, which uh, is this Key Bank now. <laughs> they keep changing names. <laughs> so, anyways, when they were digging it, they were doing archaeology, which is good. Um, but then the article in the news said. They found doll-headed marble proving that that was a store. That's so bad archaeology. <laughs> <laughs> we find, we find doll-heads and marbles and you know, just about all of them. It says there were probably kids there. All right. Um, so dating the finds, um, you don't want to date it by the China. Uh, this is what we call transferware. I mean, people save their grandma's china. It's usually passed on. So just because this piece is 1860 and it's in, doesn't mean that that's when the privy, how old the privy is. Uh, the best way, or just let's say you find a wheat penny in the ground today. You know, it, it's probably been in circulation or somebody just recently put it in circulation. So what you really want to date it by is the glass that you're finding. Oh, I left, I, I didn't talk about this one. This is what we call blob top beer. This one is Niagara Bottling, Niagara Falls, New York. What's neat is that in the Schuper glass, there's actually the picture of the falls. You have to come up close to see it. Now, this bottle did not look like this when we dug it. It looked more like this, real sick. Uh, if you notice, this bottle has lines. That's from being in water. Glass actually leaches when it's in the ground. 
So there is Marx. Um, this bottle has been professionally tumbled. So they put it in a PVC pipe. They put chopped copper wire in the bottle and around it, and they use uh, abrasive powder. And then it's basically like a rock tumbler. It's just a small motor with a belt, and it keeps turning that cylinder. And that gets rid of the scratches. And unlike coins or furniture, which if you have a early period American piece of furniture, you don't want to re restore it. This makes the bottle better because now it's it's in nice shape, and you want to put it on your shelf. Now a trick is, <laughs> well, if you don't want to pay the twenty-five bucks to have it clean, well, you just take a wire brush, Ajax, and then uh, you're still going to have stain. You can just swirl a little cooking oil around, rub it on the outside, and it'll it'll make it look pretty shiny new. Um, why don't I'll uh, let's take a quick look at this clip. So this is uh, my students. We're on the news, and you can see them sifting. You might get a little idea what it's like. Uh, you people in the back. You're going to have to stand up and get closer. Uh, you can uh, YouTube privy digging, and you'll you'll see it on there. Uh, there's one of me. We're doing the archaeology merit badge at a tavern on Fillmore and Clinton in Buffalo. Uh, that's on YouTube. But I will play this.